Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we all predicted that Ivy League would win this. Uh, let's see if that's actually the case. And we have our Bioholics Anonymous versus Ivy League. Um, this is the sixth match of the third day of Alliance Tournament 8. Um, you're listening to Verona and Brianna Tempest. And on the field for our Bioholics Anonymous, we have a Dominix, three Typhoons, a Scorpion, and a Mala. Kill2 is very excited in our in our uh, secret channels that we have here at Eve TV. He's shouting about this Mala, and he, he loves the look of it. Uh, they field 99 points. All right, and for Ivy League, we have three Hurricanes, a Dramio, a Hound, a Scimitar, and three Rooks. A bit more conventional than the other team, but let's see who the best team is. Certainly going to be interesting. Um, we have um, CCP Claw giving the countdown in local. And it's all go. Immediately, straight away, we can see the entire um, Arbiterholics Anonymous team. Um, just absolutely flying towards um, towards the Ivy League team there. Wow, speed fitted all straight away up to well over 500 meters a second, all these battleship holes. Um, and they're absolutely, I think, yes, it's nano foons all around and straight towards the Ivy League team as quickly as they possibly can. Yeah, they're all nano fitted. A typhoon is actually a really, really good ship for nano fitting. They used to use it a lot for bumping capital ships off stations. Um, you can see here they're actually going up to high, high speeds. Um, oh, they're taking actually a lot of damage right now. Oh, disco foons! Hundreds of them all at once! Um, yes, all three of these uh, typhoons from Albiteholics Anonymous appear to be um, completely smart bomb fitted. And one of the pilots has just actually set his smart bombs off and potted himself at the same time. Oh my god! Oh, wow. You gotta wonder if this is just, just all for show. I mean, there, the smart bombing is not really hurting anyone at all on the Ivy League team. They're just basically hurting themselves. Uh, typhoons are into sh armor, into shields. Uh, no repairs at all. No, no logistics. Ah, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> we have um, another typhoon in structure. Um, Discord Dominic's being finished off, I believe, pretty soon. The um, last typhoon from um, from um, Abadaholics Anonymous on the field just starting to dip into armor. Wow, this is a ridiculous tactic. I quite like it. And the Dominic's there of um, Abadaholics Anonymous podding his fellow um, typhoon pilot. Wow, no capsules on the field for uh, Abadaholics Anonymous. Um, every one of their team members has been pod killed by their own team so far. <laughs> yeah. I, it just doesn't seem like our Brightaholics is very, you know, serious about this match. They're just killing each other, maybe having a laugh out of it. I mean, they do come in at zero points at the start of the match, um, and so they, 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 they might just be here to make a big show and, you know, just just have lots of fun. <laughs> this is the bravest Malo pilot I have ever seen in my life. He sat between five smart bomb and battle ships at the start of the match. He went straight in through the center of them all, instantly lost his shields, took a massive sliver of armor damage, and, um, wow, <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, actually, CCB Claws is asking them why they're killing their own, potting their own teammates, and they're just saying that they're, they're so bad that, you know, we're, we're just not skilled enough that we can't really avoid killing our own teammates. And we have, um... We also have in local uh, CCP Claw saying he's not sure if he should disqualify them for intentional pod killing, given their setup. Um, but obviously, um, wow, I think that regardless, they're going out horribly here. Yeah, they, they may also be intentionally trying to, you know, use very cheap ships. Uh, all tech, uh, tier 1 battleships here, the Dominic's, the Scorpion, and the Typhoon are all tier 1s. You know, maybe they're just using it for some kind of insurance fraud. I'm not sure, but you know, they're definitely not really putting much of a fight, putting up much of a fight here. Scorpion is already going into structure, and Brave Maller still has some armor on him. Yeah, I mean, these guys are all relatively new players, um, relatively low skill points, and um, in all honesty, it was great to see them in the tournament. Um, this is what it's all about. Just groups of people having fun, having a laugh. These guys have obviously come for the showmanship, and granted, got to give them a hundred points for commentary, uh, for for um, for comedy gold. To be honest, they're just absolutely outstanding. Um, <laughs> good fun to watch as um, as Ivy League are just going to uh, finish off this um, 
in this last mile. But it's interesting that um, to see where um, Ivy League are going to be after this because they will actually score the full points total. Um, and if a few more of the teams in the uh, in the bottom half of the bracket do uh, do perform badly, um, they may by uh, by some weird grace of God go through. Yeah, Ivy League is if they do kill the Mauler, which I think they would, uh, they're gonna. Oh, hang on, the the Mauler actually has his shields wrapped back up by uh, no other than the Scimitar himself. Yep, the um the Scimitar of the uh, of the Ivy League team, keeping the Mauler of the Arbiterholics Anonymous team alive with his light rep drones. Um, strange tactic, but um, oh well. I think they may be going to ransom him, or potentially uh, they're looting the field. Well, I think they're actually just taking some time to look through the loot uh, in loco. They're they're actually complaining about the the quality of the loot that they're getting from the Arbiterholix Anonymous team. Um, you know, honestly, I don't think they should have anything to complain about after all the showmanship that that has been displayed. It's outstanding, and you know we get we get oddball matches like this now and again in the tournament, and it's always good fun to see people just come in and and have a lot of fun. But I've got to say, you know, these guys are all a group of young rookie characters, um, and you know we've got an established alliance, Erebus Alliance, who didn't even bother turning up. So, kudos to the guys from uh, Arbiterholics Anonymous. Good show of showmanship, great stuff, and uh, fortunately they're down and out, but we can pass back to Soundwave. Yeah, that was certainly a, a very honorable way of, of going out of the tournament. Uh, T1 fitted disco battleships. Uh, that's yeah, as as mentioned before, T1 and and Ivy League actually complaining about the quality of loot. Uh, but let's let's move on to the next match. The next match is Eve Engineering versus Intrepid Crossing, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 